office in Europe, which is located in Amsterdam. The challenge we often see is that people come up with amazing customer experience designs, and then when they bring them to the organization, and the organization tries to activate them or implement them, that the design as envisioned it doesn't happen, or frankly it just dies, and the company goes back to working just as it did, as it always has. Um, and the reason for that is, um, well, <laughs> I said in the talk, the inside of an organization is where great customer experiences go to die. Uh, because organizations are made up of people, and organizations don't change, people do. And so with a lot of, when a new customer experience comes in, a lot of people focus on the touch points and adjusting those touch points to the customer. They don't think about the deeper part of the organization and how it needs to change and align to service that customer experience. And one of the things we talked about was an organization that had the customer experience, this whole new customer experience, but they, so they trained their 100,000 store associates to provide that in the store, but they didn't look further into the company to think in terms of, so what we found was the supply chain wasn't aligned to provide that customer experience. So it didn't matter what the people did in the store if the supply chain wasn't ready to provide that service. They weren't going to, and the supply chain people didn't, they're good people of course, but they didn't even think about the end customers. They don't think about them. They're thinking about product and efficiency and running a routine, so getting them to change in the first place is hard. They've fine-tuned their engine to, to be as good as it is, so asking them to change uh, is, is hard. So, and that's just one example. You know, HR might have to change, finance might have to change, marketing, sales. The whole depth of the company might need to, to um, understand how they need to change to support the new, the new customer experience. And we think of it in terms of a new customer experience is a new strategy. So the whole company has to align on it and start executing against it. That's, that's kind of the main part of it. I think um, we're taking a little bit of a different thought on sustainability and design in this context. I know other people are talking about the environment and being sustainable for the planet. In this case, I think we're thinking more about the sustainability of the design itself and can it survive implementation and execution and um, will it, will it um, deploy and activate in the organization in the way that it's intended to and will the organization accept it. And frankly, that's the sustainability of that company. I mean, businesses have to be, they have to continue to operate and evolve and they have to sustain so that everyone has a job, they provide their service, all of that kind of thing. So I think we're thinking about sustainability a little differently, but it's, I think it's equally as valid in terms of uh, its importance to, uh, to customers and business and employees, everybody involved. Game storming is a, um, it's, well, it's a book, but what it means is it's a, it's a set of methodologies to do that co-creation, to work collaboratively, to uh, create real business outcomes. It's played off the word brainstorming, but game storming is a, it's kind of a cookbook of recipes that you can use to create fun, fun workshops.